let's start with a brief summary. This article written by Paul Graham in 2020 discusses the courage of TV journalists and politicians to make misleading predictions during the coronavirus pandemic. He points out that they can make misleading predictions and escape the consequences because often these predictions are about events with uncertain outcomes or that will happen in the future. However, a pandemic leads to predictions being rapidly and clearly debunked. Graham states that this situation is a unique opportunity to see people's true faces and is a test of everyone's credibility. Before we dive in, I want to share a quick note about how this podcast is created. As you've probably noticed, this podcast isn't voiced by a human, but by artificial intelligence. I'm obligated to inform you of this beforehand due to the rules of AI services. This podcast is made possible by our sponsor, Wope.com, an AI startup that combines content marketing with artificial intelligence to significantly boost traffic and revenue of your startups. For all the latest content, be sure to follow me at x.com slash Now let's turn our attention back to the essay. The Examination of Credibility Amidst the Coronavirus Pandemic. Original title, Coronavirus and Credibility, date April 2020. I recently saw of w.youtube.com slash watch of TV journalists and politicians confidently saying that the coronavirus would be no worse than the flu. What struck me about it was not just how mistaken they seemed, but how daring. How could they feel safe saying such things? The answer, I realized, is that they didn't think they could get caught. They didn't realize there was any danger in making false predictions. These people constantly make false predictions and get away with it because the things they make predictions about either have mushy enough outcomes that they can bluster their way out of trouble or happen so far in the future that few remember what they said. An epidemic is different. It falsifies your predictions rapidly and unequivocally. But epidemics are rare enough that these people clearly didn't realize this was even a possibility. Instead, they just continued to use their ordinary MO, which, as the epidemic has made clear, is to talk confidently about things they don't understand. An event like this is thus a uniquely powerful way of taking people's measure. As Warren Buffett said, it's only when the tide goes out that you learn who's been swimming naked. And the tide has just gone out like never before. Now that we've seen the results, let's remember what we saw because this is the most accurate test of credibility we're ever likely to have, I hope.